You know, I fell back speaking about this. Now I can't. Preach! Preach! War is hell in every sense of the word. It breaks my heart to see the ridiculous loss of life on both sides. It breaks my heart that the two people on the face of this planet that are closest in blood lineage to anyone on the planet, the Jews and the Arabs, have been fighting each other for centuries and it's absolutely maddening and it's ridiculous. And there needs to be a future where we have peace and coexistence. And the only way that's going to happen is if the next generation is no longer taught to hate. People like to go ahead and say that people who come from my lineage, and I have relatives, over 2,000 of them, still living in Israel. I knew people. I miss people that were slaughtered like animals at the Nova Festival. I have a friend of mine who had to s sit and bide his time with his friend in a garbage heap while friends of his were being raped right next to him by these barbarians who call themselves freedom fighters. Freedom fighters my fucking ass. Rape is not resistance. Slaughtering innocents at a music festival that's meant to bring people together of all walks of life is not resistance. And I genuinely feel empathy for the Palestinian people despite what everyone on the other side of the equation likes to claim. There isn't a single Jew on the face of this planet that does not celebrate life. We celebrate life. Hamas celebrates death. And they need to be eradicated. Not the Palestinians. Palestinians and for a future for the Israelis so that finally we can bring some sort of a prosperous coexistence and an end to these countless years of bloodshed and struggle. Do you understand? It is a dark time that we're living in and there are people who like to go ahead and use our fear of one another as an excuse to gain power, as an excuse to profit off of our own misery and our own suffering. It's dark times, my people. It is dark times. But sometimes, darkness can show you the light.